I remain my humble self, Muiwa Omotara Akiyemi, popularly known as Elder Chosen, the interviewer, the comic man, and the world changer. You're welcome to this wonderful episode on Elder Chosen. I believe you have been enjoying the past episode. And trust me, this episode is going to be a wonderful one. If you're just joining us on this YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to always notify you whenever we drop any of these gospel content and guess who we have on this wonderful episode like you want to know okay let's go there follow me <laughs> wow we are here again on elder chosen on another wonderful episode as you can see i'm having a beautiful lady standing beside me here her name is uh Josephine or Josephine or Josephine or I don't know what is it Josephine? What was the right pronunciation? Is it Josephine or Josephine or Josephine? My name is Josephine. I don't know why the Joseph people Finn. of the world love to call okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. We have Finn. Joseph and we have Finn. Josephine. What? Well, that's good. Anyhow, Josephine, Josephine, Josephine. She's a writer. She's a drama minister. She's a. She's a. She's a. I think she said she's a shoemaker. It's not like she said. I am a shoemaker. All right. She's a shoemaker. Okay. Please let me even give you a chance to introduce yourself to the audience. Just introduce yourself in detail. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So my name is um, Josephine Oladele, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I am the president of the Fountain Writer. Mm -hmm. What do we do in the Fountain I Writer? We write inspirational articles, poetry, yep. you know, yep. things that edify the mind. Because mm -hmm. um, the main reason for writing is to heal the mind. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing we do is on um, the Gracious Girls Initiative. Wow. This was established to bet portals that we bet more portals. portals. Wow. I love that. I like then um, now to my entrepreneur lifestyle. Yep. I'm a Syria entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I make shoes. Wow, shoemaker. I'm a shoemaker. <laughs> I make this one on my leg. I don't know if you can see it. Then I make beads. I make a Shambhala. Shambhala is a Ghanaian bracelet. And I make bridal beads in case you mm -hmm. want to get married. I make wow. bridal beads. I make belts. Hmm. Wow. What other thing do I make? Oh, um, anything like that work. Wallet, purse, and the likes. Wow, wow, that wow. will be Thank helpful you. now. Thank you so much. Um, okay. okay. Um, please, we are we are in this village. What are we doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you here? Why are you in this village? So I find myself in Yelu, Yelu. Yelu yes, Yelu. In Yelu village, in one wherever in the or show like that. Yeah, See, I'm, I'm telling you, this is like this is a village, like a village village, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. we are here to shoot um. This is season six of um, Kembe Sonu. Sonu. Season six. Um, Kembe wow. Sonu is a, is a production of um, Fejo's Baba. Yeah, Evangelist. And um, that is why we are here as a drama minister. As to a minister, drama minister. the word of God. Mm, wow, that just gives us Thank you so much. Okay, so talking about this season six, okay. um, what role are you playing in this season six? We have season one to five. So I think this is the first time you will be coming to this location. Yes. So what role are you playing? You playing in the we are just here to support them all to be, uh, be part of the crew. Just as the director, um, the script writer, and who, which other person? The PM. And the PM. All of them in combined, they said I will be playing one of Yabami's daughters. Yabami, yeah, Yabami. Yeah, oh, so. yeah, Yabami. Yeah, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That's cool. And I'm playing a panel. Apano. Apano, yes. Apano, Apano. So that is me with my other very powerful sister. Of course, I'm a very powerful young lady. Mm -hmm. That is that we have in the Deliba. Um, Deliba, wow. Jejele. 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 Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. That's, that's Kemi's own language. <laughs> then we have the Jigoro. Jigoro. So <laughs> we are going to. Can't name be this. I want to do something about this guy. Name. I don't. I don't know. Now, I don't follow you to confuse. He confused my confusion. But what can we do? Jelege, jelele, and jelege, jelege, and jelenke. Name is name. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. So <clears throat> to the next thing we have here, I have. As you can see, I have many questions here. She so is going to pick two. You're going to answer the two. You are going to answer the two. Yeah. You're picking two questions. So have it. Use your own hand to maybe choose your fate or what, what, what would I call it? Just choose two. Just pick two. If you like, close your eyes. If you like, move closer. If you like, ask Holy Spirit. Go on this. 
If you like, close your eyes. Open up. I don't care. Just give me the question. Question one. Ah, ah, oh, you're picking big, big questions. Wow. Question two. Wow. That's awesome. So the first question says, um, 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 why is it so hard to open like this? I don't know. You're at it. So I'm here and I'm Hey, I do. Okay, and the question says, is assuming you are locked up with a lady asking for sex, what will you do? I mean, the lady locked you up in a room and then you are trying to, you know, force your way out and then, you know, she may shout and say you want to rape her. So what will you do in that condition if you are the brother? Okay, hmm. this, this question is a, is a very tricky one. Like seriously? <laughs> okay, so I need, so you need to apply with some. Hi, it's a thing, where do you start from? <laughs> Anyhow, just start from the Let me say. I don't know what you're even doing inside a sister's room to start with. Or, or Normally, now just for the brother to go and greet the sister, you know, the sister can have another, you know, this mindset of, you know, okay, ah, I love this. Okay. You know, when you can see the brother coordinator in the church, ah, I love this brother. And, you know, the brother will just come and fix it. And, uh, oh, okay, let's yeah. say, a uh, 35 year old sister that is looking for what for you, then you let me Hey, you got his point. So <laughs> just <laughs> let's. Uh, okay, so let's say, um, you know, there was a time um, I attended one of them. Mrs. Omolarana is a PMH class okay. and um, she, she talks about a brother that was just lying down in his jelly. room more. His name is not John, I'm just using the name John mm -hmm. and he came and said, bro John, can you please help me to change the bulb in my room? What? Okay. And bro John was lying down in his room putting on just boxers uh -huh. and he said, um, <laughs> Action, not too. can I just change my or just yeah, it's short. Okay. So I can come and change it. Mm -hmm. And the sister was like, come on, this is not just to change, change something. And just what is there? Just room. come and change and you're back to your room. You sure. won't even spend a minute there. Happy. And the brother was actually reluctant. We had a long run. He stood up and he followed her to the room. So this brother carried his stool and he was standing on it. The moment his two hands were up to yes. remove the box. So what happened? So what oh. happened? <laughs> <laughs> the yes. next thing he felt was <laughs> A touch and it's John Thomas. Jesus! So it appears she that the, the microphone. The, the sister had grabbed John Thomas and then although the mommy came is not finished the whole of the story. So maybe it's kind of content that she didn't finish it. Mm -hmm. She didn't even tell us the name of the brother. Wow. But like no no no, just imagine that scenario. I like I can I, imagine. We, we don't know what actually happened at the long run. Okay. But um um, she when maybe he was going through some trauma or whatever, mm -hmm. he decided to share the story with one PMH. Mm -hmm. And one PMH was using that to enlighten us that then we need to be conscious of everything mm -hmm. that we do. So mm -hmm. back to the question. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So let's say I'm a brother and I find myself in a room with this sister and this sister is trying to entangle my destiny by <laughs> trying to force me to stick with her. Yeah. And you know when it comes to any rape story, if this sister should shout rape. Yeah. When it comes to rape story, they don't want to know if his sister is lying or not. They will always listen to the, the brother sister will have been in coma before they will now finally say, okay, it was lie. You understand? understand? Because anything that comes when it comes to rape, the, the, the lady has a lot to lose. And there was a time I don't actually believe that she can actually molest a guy. Sure, it's stop is happening like so it's happening. It was just recently like in the year 2020 when the brother was sharing the story that mm -hmm. oh, so they can rape a guy too. Sure. Wow. <laughs> So, as I was saying, if I'm the brother, find himself in that situation, I want to cite um, what's happened in Gemi Fatsu. I don't oh, know if you've seen Gemi. Gemi Fatsu, that's true, yeah. that's true. You it's know, when um, Sister, uh, Sister Buki, the comforter, yeah, yeah. enter Brojong's Bro John. Bro office. office. Oh, yeah, another Brojong. Enter Brojong's <laughs> office and um, he wanted to force Brojong to sleep with her. Right, and she sure. was like, oh, she's going to shout straight, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. You know, and there was a sister like that in, that shared a story in my group then that they said there was this brother that tried to rape her mm -hmm. and then um, she was like you cannot even drag with a man you know they will say no matter how small a man he is a man is yeah, a man if you are dragging with a man it's just as if you are saying uncle come and show me your progress <laughs> and of course he will so show you his progress so instead um, she said the brother was wanted to rape and was just like a king yeah the foreign he said you know the one got by around less you understand 
she, so she said she was just telling the guy that do you have a condom in your bag? Okay. Because I have a shy boy. Wow. If you are convenient with it. That's a turn off. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. So like, well, if you are convenient with it, then no problem. Wow. It's not as if she was not scared though, but that wisdom just, mm. you know, mm. you know that, that wisdom did not just come from her. She just, the wisdom just profit. came and she used it and the mm. wisdom was profitable to direct, direct her down. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You know, everything in the uncle's body just come down. Come down, down instant. At, you know, at the mention of HIV, every erection <laughs> shall bow. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Wow. Uh, so, uh, as I was saying, um, if you've seen Baby Part 2, yeah. you will understand what I want to say mm. better. Brought John applied wisdom. When Brought John applied wisdom, I would say what Brought John actually did, it's a very, it's something that is advisable. Mm. You know, the internet has its good and bad, yeah. but this particular time, it's the good mm. we are talking sure, about. Sure. So bro, John carried his phone and he said he will start Instagram, Instagram live, live if you don't leave my <laughs> office. <laughs> that's See, true, that's true. that wisdom can it's only come from the Holy Spirit. Mm. Yes. Because yes, at that yes, point, you know, even when I was watching yeah, the movie, we'll I was thinking in my head too, so how what can he get out of this situation? Mm. I was thinking along with him. Then immediately mm. he just carried mm. his phone and he said he's going to start Instagram, Instagram. live. I was like, what? Wow, this this is what I'm only talking be about. Like, so in case wow. you find yourself in that kind of situation, I love that. and if you cannot apply the HIV one, mm. you cannot mm. have apply the in fact this one works all this time just carry your phone if it's the one follower you have yeah, sure, that's just true. start instagram live mm. it will save you mm. in fact even if you let her shout rape or anything since At it's instagram it's live you are doing it will be saved there mm. if you mm. just try to say you want to record the video on your phone they might seize your phone sure, confiscate sure, sure. your you phone and delete the it. evidence but in as much it was instagram live mm. facebook live anything that's live true. The video will be there. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much. I I love this. Thank you for shedding more light with. All I just had to is just you know, wisdom is profitable to die as she has said. You know, if possible, you need to save at that kind of situation. All you just need to do is just start praying inside. That is Stop true. Stop Shabbatai inside. We just call that the wisdom of God. Thank you so much. So let's move to the next question. So the next question. Yes, now remain one question. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and the next question is, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. in fact, I love this question. In fact, this question is just for you. The question says, um, do you think there is an implication in marrying someone older than me? I think this question should be coming from the sister. Yeah. Or a brother. The sister marrying a... Okay, that is no, it's coming it's from a, a brother. Yeah, a brother find his heart yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Marrying a, a sister older than him, maybe three, two years. Is that okay. advisable? What are okay. the implications? You know this particular question, um, mm. I once posted about it in my group mm. on WhatsApp and yeah. a lot of persons share their opinion about it. I will, I will mention some of the things they say before then I will now speak um, about myself like what i actually think about it yeah. so that day when i asked the question in the group mm. you know some persons they have their preferences and um you cannot dispute that fact that people should have their preferences yeah, sure. um, marry somebody that's older than you mm. you know um our parents they have their own belief they have their reason why they say um, ladies should marry a man that is older than them. Yeah. You know, they believe that, that there are a lot of things that changes the woman's body, yeah, you know, sure. menstruation, giving yeah, birth, and winning, and the like. Yeah, sure. So it changes the woman's body. So they believe that um, they, they don't want you to start looking unattractive to your husband mm. at the long run, since um, yeah, mm. they believe women age faster mm. than, than men. Mm. So they advise that you marry a man that is older than you. But when they are saying that, they are not saying you should not marry your uncle or you marry your father. Because <laughs> I think it was yesterday I was, I was discussing with IT and she said um, there was a sister that married a man that was 18 years old. Jesus, 18 her. years. And she's just 22. So you should not have seen them. Maybe <laughs> she's 30 something years old and she's feeling maybe she will not get someone yeah, to marry yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, she's boss. just 22. Wow. And she got married to a man that is 18 uh -uh. years older. Like, what is it? It's like, just like a father, father to your daughter. Like, <laughs> 18 years. That's too far. That's too so, you know, that, that is too far. Yeah. Even when they are saying marry someone that is, in, as a female, and marry someone that is older than you. It's not like, let me say maybe the interval between 3 to yeah. 5 years. Is, when you even okay. get into 10 years, it's 10 too, years to me, it is too much. Yeah. But if you know you are convenient to see okay. it, it is your choice. Mm. You understand? Mm. So now to the... Um, a brother marrying a lady that is older, older than, than him. Hmm. Me, Josephine, 
I find it hard. So <laughs> I will say it's kind of I kind of yeah. You know, like you kind of I cannot even. I'm not sure I can marry a, a brother and brother than. Well, and I have I, of them. It's of them. I have my reasons. Yes. Mm, and so I have sure, my reasons okay. for that. You know, I I think I I find that like I might not be con, you know convenient mm. to do some things like mm. I want to do. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's like one of the things point. someone said in the group. It was like, uh, what if something happened? Maybe you and your guide, there is this yes, fight. Yes, understand uh -huh. okay. And you now say something. You now say she be because you are older than me. Ah, wow. Well, that's <laughs> so yeah, so you understand. I say that is why, that is why you are scolding me because you are older mm. than me. Mm. You know that? True. You just have to be now be extra careful with everything you are mm. doing. And um, yeah, I, I, I don't feel the need. But if it's some, you know, so some a particular guy in the group said, if the lady tick all of his boxes, like everything he wants in a lady, mm. and if God is saying the person is a person yeah. that is going to settle for it, so you know, there are people like that that they can settle mm. for yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah. me, it's a thing. Actually, I I find it hard. I it cannot even marry difficult. a guy that is um, kind of extremely older than me because I I will not be convenient, mm. you know. Calling him sugar, calling him. Oh, you know, you know, at times some things you just want to do. I don't know this guy is older than me. It's like you don't understand. Yeah, sure, sure. There was this something that happened on Twitter and then this guy was saying Why will this guy can be calling him baby? That didn't know how many years he used to. Like I don't understand. If you call him Uncle Baby, and I was like to you Uncle Baby. Like so you know all these things, but yeah, yeah. if it works for you, yeah, yeah. and if the person takes your boxes, and if God is saying the person is a is person, it, no that problem. Is, that, that is it. So it is individual yeah, yeah. differences and conviction. Mm. That's what I would say. Wow, wow, thank you so much. In fact, you've you've, you've said it all. The only thing I would just have to do is it has to be the conviction, like it has to be maybe the leading of, of the Holy Spirit to marry such person because. Hmm, it's not easy, oh. we cannot lie, you know they're easy. May I come marry somebody who is like four, three years older than me? Ah. Hmm. It's going to be kind of difficult. Wow, thank you so much for you know enlightening us more on that uh, question. So to the next thing, to the last thing out here, you said in your introduction, I think, yeah, I, I, I heard something like you said, General Minister, right? Okay, I'm a General Minister. General Minister, okay, yes. now I want you to prove it to me right here. Prove it to the audience that you're a General Minister. So you're going to enter into any character now. Elder Chosen is yet with you. Enter into any character. So I'm here. I'm here for you. Any character. So what would I call you now? Give me any name. Any name. Any name. Rolling. And then action. Paul. Yes. Paul. Timmy. Yes, Timmy. This is the fifth time I'll be having an abortion for you. <laughs> and you want me to still have another abortion. Like, no, can, you, can you hear yourself? I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I'm not ready to be a father. Yes. Read my lips. I'm not ready to be a father. Hey, 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 hey. See who is talking. You are not ready to become a father. Yes. But you can have sex. You Shut know up. how to raise legs. Okay. Shut hey, up. Hey, hey. Come on. We know. agreed on it. You came to my house on agreement. You slept on my bed on agreement. You have your clothes on agreement. We did it on agreement. So it's based on agreement. So what are okay. you so, so what you are trying to say now? You promised me I would I would leave praises in church for a whole <coughs> one month. It's not even as if you are fulfilling the promises. What I would what I know that you did was you acted on my you just you used no, my no, head. No, 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 no. You used my that. head. I that was what you did. You used your my head. head. You know, I have a vision. I have a mission, you know. I, I, I want to become a doctor, medical doctor. So I can't allow you to use this this nonsense in your stomach to jeopardize my future. Never. It's the empty barrier that makes noise. <laughs> okay. okay. Paul. Hmm. Bro, Paul. Yes, Sister Timmy. Choir leader. Yes, my Sister Will Timmy. We meet in church on Sunday. No problem. You this prostitute. I'm a prostitute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jesus, oh my Jessica, and I love that vibe, like seriously, I love that. I love the way you just switch from your normal self into the character. Wow, you just proved to me and the audience that you are a drama minister, I mean a professional. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank it's you nice having a, a fountain, yeah, the, Oops, fountain, the writer. fountain writer on Elder Chosen. This will be all on this episode. Thank you, see you next time. Bye-bye.